everybody, it's Matt from Eastwood Company. We're at SEMA 2013, and when you're walking around the show, it's really tough to catch your eye when you see a car. You're on sensory overload. When I was walking around, this car right here, Blue Steel, caught my eye. So we're with the owner and the builder here. How you doing, Doug? I'm good, Matt. How are you? And Larry, nice seeing you guys. Tell us a little bit about this car, the story. This car, when people are walking by, they're thinking that this is a big name builder that did this, that has tons of cars here. This is basically a bunch of guys in a shop built this together. What was, how did this all start? Well, the car's been around for a long time. I've had the car, it's kind of like, it was a project that started and stopped and started and stopped. Um, I, I like to think of it almost like it was a movie, that one day we found this big star that was gonna make the whole thing work. Um, Larry had the motor, which is a single overhead cam 427 Ford. Oh, yeah. And he had a tractor repair shop. And um, so when the car got into his hands, everything started happening. And um, to have you know, Eastwood interested in what we're doing is like so thrill. I mean, we're all giddish around here because none of us have ever done anything like this before. And to get this much attention with a car that came out of our shop was just incredible. Yeah, it's awesome. And that's really what closed the deal for me when I started talking to you guys. Uh, obviously, there was other guys involved, you told me. Was there particular things that each of you guys took on or was it just all of you kind of together, like I said, working on it? Well, you know, I, Larry's kind of like the director in a movie. He had a script. <laughs> Right. He had the stars, he had the actors and the thing, and what his job was was to get it all together and make it all work. Cool. You know, and so yeah, we had a painter, uh, Mark Perkinski, he, he painted the car, mm -hmm. you know, he's kind of like the set director guy, right, you know, right, he right. put the thing together. Uh, Randy did all the machine work, I mean, there's so many little things on this car. Every nut and bolt in the car is a 12 point from ARP. Wow. Even though we had to make a couple because we didn't have the ones we needed, but we wanted them to match. Very so cool. every nut and bolt is that way. And it's because Larry is such a stickler for detail. He just wouldn't let anything like that slide. Um, and you know, the body tools that we use from you guys, the sandblasting tools that we use from the powder coat tools that we use from you guys, all those things, the polishing materials, everything. Right. It just made it all work. That because that isn't what we do there. Right, right. You know, so we had to go out and do a lot of that stuff and your catalog made it possible to, you know, to get everything we needed. So it was just a matter of putting it all together and that's what Larry did. He, I mean he's like the director in a movie. He made sure that all the pieces fit and everything worked. You know, right, the, right. the bare brakes and the Magnaflow exhaust and the you know, all the guys that helped us out. And then when Center Force said we could put it in their booth this year, that's what put the fuel under us to get it done. To get it finished. So how long did it take from, you know, I, I know you said you had it kicking around for a while. How long did it take to get it from kind of the primer stage to where it's at today? About a year. About a year. That's it? Yeah. Really? Wow. And was there, from day one, was there a definitive point where you're like, we're going to make the underside cleaner than most people's outside of their car? Is there a, a point when you decide that or is it early on you said, this is it, we're going to? Well, you know, it's kind of like, uh, like if we use that movie metaphor, mm -hmm. some of the scenes got reshot. Okay. You know, the windshield, for example, was probably the, the thing that gave us the most trouble. Okay. Getting the polishing right and getting the windshield right. And we had to reshoot that scene several times to get it right. The body is this all steel 32 Ford. The windshield didn't fit. Okay. So there's a lot of work in this windshield to make it fit this cowling. So is there, uh, is there anywhere that you guys are hitting next? afterwards with the, with the car? Uh, obviously, it's not just here. It's gotten a lot of attention. Well, we, ha we have an old friend, a uh, uh, hot rodder of some stature, Art Christman, and he has a Christmas party. Oh, yeah. So yeah. our plan is, is to get it into the dyno shop and get it all worked up and get mm -hmm. all the tune right, drive it to Art's Christmas party, then we're going to bring it back, blow it apart again, detail, fine detail some stuff because it's going to go into the LA Roadster Show. It's one of the AMBR nominees for the LA Roadster Show. Wow, so congratulations. Ten, 10 cars for that. Of course, And yeah. they've came by and chosen us to be one of the uh, competitors for that, that award. Wow, well that's awesome. That, Which like, is almost hard to say without choking up to tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. So, well thanks for showing us the car. We really appreciate it and oh, you know, good luck with it. Hope we can hey, catch up with you at the Roadster yeah, Show. I can't tell you how much Thank it means you. to thanks. us. Yeah, thanks guys, Take appreciate care. it. Yep.